Welcome to week four NFL picks. This week's going to be very interesting because I'm including one game that I usually don't do on the card, and that's the Dolphins versus the Bengals. Now, this line stink has stinky caca written all over it. The Bengals are favored by three and a half points, but I, I see the Dolphins winning here. And it's the same thing with the Texas A&M and Mississippi. Mississippi State game. Mississippi is favored by four points, which again, I'm thinking Texas State, but well, that line just reeks. But I have the Dolphins plus three and a half. Patriots and Green Bay. Hoyer the Destroyer, and that's all I'm going to say. I have Patriots plus nine and a half. Um, I, th I still think Green Bay is going to win, but I think Patriots can cover and or win. Vikings and Saints. I have the Vikings minus two and a half. I mean, that's kind of an easy game, especially with the broke back quarterback. Browns and Falcons. Falcons actually are showing uh, a good effort. Um, so this one took a while to figure out, but I have the Browns minus one and a half. Commanders versus Cowboys. I have, I, I'm riding with the Cowboys, but I have upset alert written all over this game. Cowboys are showing good defense, playoff potential, quarterbacks looking good. Uh, so I have Cowboys minus three, but upset alert, I think Commanders, everyone has that one bad game. Seattle versus Lions. I have Lions minus four. I'm actually rooting for Seattle in this game, even though I'm a Lions fan, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But I have Lions minus four. Titans versus Colts. Colts, as soon as I waved them off last year, what do they do? Win, just like I said. They still are eh. But I still have Colts plus three and a half, but Titans winning. Bears and Giants. After the ferocious loss last week, the Giants are favored by three. And this is like a backwards pick, but I'm choosing the Bears plus three, even though Fields stinks up the field. Jags versus Eagles. I literally almost dropped Mac Jones because he's hurt and got Trevor Lawrence for my fantasy league and just started Trevor Lawrence. The spread six and a half, but I think the Eagles can cover that, or I think Jags can cover that. I think Eagles win, but Jags are going to cover. If not, if Jags win, I'm, I might have to get Trevor Lawrence as a fantasy quarterback. He's been putting up numbers. Jets for Steelers. I have a Jets sticker on my vehicle, bro, and a Boston sticker that has the Patriots, the Bruins, the what is that? What? I figure since I'm in New York, I might as well get something to could could have got a giant sticker, a jet sticker, bro. Anyways, I have Steelers winning this game, so Steelers minus three. Bills versus Ravens. I mean, I think this one's kind of easy. I mean, Patriots did pretty good against the Ravens. I mean, I the, I just haven't seen anything that says they're gonna beat the Bills, so I have Bills minus three. Chargers versus Texans. I think this is one of those games where Texans upset the Chargers and or if Justin Herbert's hurt, they might come within reach. So I have um, Chargers winning, but plus five. Cards and Panthers. Now Kyler Murray's like on and off, bro. He could pull a w comeback win one game another game, another game, and then completely fumble the ball and lose one game. So the spread's minus one and a half. I'm going cards minus one and a half, even though I think Panthers are actually, you know, getting somewhere. Broncos and Raiders. Everyone thinks that 0-3, uh, they might ha might actually win a game this game. What if they go 0-4? I'm putting money on that. Everyone's expecting them to win. Raiders are favored by two and a half points. I I don't even like the Broncos, but I'm going to go Broncos plus two and a half. I think they're going to win by at least a field goal and or three points. 
Chiefs and Bucks. Wow. Dare I say, I think the Bucks are going to win plus one. Chiefs are a way better team. And Mike Evans, if you see someone picking on Tom Brady, make sure to do that again and again and again. That's a guy you want on the field for you. Anyways, like I always say, bro, if you use my bets, bet at your own risk. And feel free to hit me up on Cash App, Money Sign Big Perp 12, uh, and or PayPal, GWipe471. Those are my picks. San Francisco and LA. LA looks like the better team. But I'm always going to pick San Fran, bro. Got to get me one of them Nolan drinks, if you know what I mean. I think San Fran can do that. I think Jimmy G could. Yeah. Anyways, week four NFL 